Deepak is asking, what was your thinking when you were preparing for IIT or IIM or civil services? And then he's asking, what was your thinking when you were leaving them? It's not the same man who prepared as the man who left. We are a flux. We are changing constantly. And that is life. Heraclitus, the great Greek philosopher, he said, you don't step into the same river twice. Man is like a river. Flowing constantly, changing constantly. Hmm? Flowing towards the sea, the ocean. To dissolve there, disappear there. The one who is 15 years old and is preparing for the ITJ has one kinds of thought in mind. He is a child who is conditioned by the situation at home, by the fact that he was born in a family of bureaucrats, by the fact that he thinks that the only way to live a meaningful life, the only way to contribute is through the government machinery. And if you want to be an IES, then you must first be an IIT because he saw that it were the ITNs who were making it through to the IES top rankers list. So he says, all right, to IES via IIT. That's why he prepared for IIT. And then time changes. The teenager is no more a teenager. In the process of preparation itself, he sees what is meant by centralized government, what is the truth of bureaucracy. And he does get selected and he spends a couple of months in the training academy. And he sees how things operate there and he sees that wherever there is centralized government, there would be a lack of freedom. And by this time, he is already 22. And he says, no, I'm young, I cannot spend my life in a system that will constantly dictate how I am to be. So he quits. But, you know, this question is not of such great importance to you, except for one thing. It doesn't matter where you are. Hmm? It doesn't matter where you are. Your entire history has brought you to a point that history doesn't matter. In your awareness, in your deep understanding, what is right is right. Yes, I had invested a lot of time in pursuing my B.Tech degree and I had invested time in preparing for the civil services exam. And I invested time in doing my MBA also. But that does not mean that my past becomes so heavy upon me that I live just as a slave to it. That I must be an engineer because I have an engineering degree. That I must work as a manager because I am an MBA from Ahmedabad. That I must be a bureaucrat because I have cleared the civil services exam. No, past doesn't matter. If at a particular point, something sees right to you, go ahead and do it. Don't be captives to your history. Don't say that now that I've invested so much in it, how can I leave it? These are sunk costs. You go to watch a movie, right? You made the decision to watch a movie. And you go inside, and you discover in the first one hour that the movie is crap. Now there are two options. One, you can say, I have already invested rupees 300 in the ticket and one hour in the movie, so I'll invest one more hour. The other option is, 
I have only invested 300 and one hour. Why should I waste another hour? And whether you go by the first choice or the second one, that decides the entire destiny of your life. Do you see these two approaches? First approach says, I have already invested 300 rupees and one hour. So let me spend another hour. The second one says, I still can save one hour. And I have invested only 300. Why am I investing more into something that does not deserve it? Are we together? Hmm? Nothing is permanent. You need not be committed to anything except your own consciousness.